Well, hello friends, Silvio here. As you can hear, I made another little piece of music with a guitar that to be played on the background of this video. I hope I will make better ones in the future. This is just my second one. I hope it's not too annoying. I would like to thank each and every one of you who subscribe to my channel. A lot of people subscribe to my channel and I'm very grateful because I don't do any of the YTPC games. The games that are meant to attract people to subscribe on your channel. I never commented under anybody's video just for people to see my comment and click on my channel. I never made a giveaway. I don't participate in giveaways. I have nothing against people who do. I don't make Friday Savinelli or Yabos or uh, things like that. I promise myself that even if I won't have any success, I will still do it my way. Without all these all those games ytpc games again for you newcomers i have to reiterate the fact that to me ytpc is a brotherhood is a community is not a market or it's not about winning or losing this is it so thank you for subscribing to my channel a lot of you did. I hope you will find something interesting here. So, thank you all. Now, dear Richard, send me what I now consider to be the Everest of pipe tobacco. This little criminal thing. Look how oily and dark and amazing it looks. Have you ever seen a more beautiful plug than this? I didn't. It smells amazing. It is Gawit Hogarth River plug. It is a Virginia Burley. It is a Dark Fire Kentucky. As we all know, Dark Fire is actually burly. And it has, it smells like Turkish baklava. I think it has lemongrass, floral essence, maybe a little bit of rose geranium, but not too much. But it smells like other uh, flowers. Those field flowers, flowers that are not grown, I don't know how to call them. Yeah, it smells like dark fired, it smells smoky, earthy sweet, sour. Spicy. And floral. So thank you, Richard, again, with all my heart. This is one of those tobaccos that I've been waiting for many, many years to try. And you made it all possible. This is a falcon pipe. Inside I'm having a, one of those uh, things that are made to absorb the, the humidity. 
This is how you make one at home. You take a pipe cleaner, a pencil, you do this, you cut it, and this is it. Use them, they make the falcon pi pipe work properly now the riv river plug sweet baby jesus sweet baby strong manly it's full of toxic masculinity. This is a manly tobacco. Smoky, earthy. Just a little bit floral is the tangiest tobacco I've ever smoked. It is sour and sweet. Extremely satisfying. This is the Everest of tobaccos. My favorite tobaccos now, excluding English blends, I will talk about them in the winter time, are River Plug, Bossum, Cut Plug or Plug, Condor, Orlik, of course, all these Gawit blends, of course, I cannot find them anywhere, not even in Europe, in EU, I mean, no Condor, no Gawit, of course, that my favorite tobaccos are not anywhere to be found, but I think it's the case, this is the case for many of us. If you find this kind of jars, this is made of glass, try them. They really hermetically sealed what's inside. How do I know that? It makes, you can see, humidity inside. It's a, you always see a mist inside. I never seen that with any other type of jars. Even those that I thought that they hermetically sealed everything. Nope. This is a beauty. I feel the nicotine kicking in, so it is full body, strong, strong on nicotine, sweet, sour, and floral. Made by the gods for the gods. Thank you again all. I will uh, see you in the next video. Thank you, Richard.
This is truly an amazing tobacco. I send you all my love.